it's Eugenia. So today I'm gonna to be doing a morning routine video. I haven't done a morning routine video in a long time and honestly since coming back I just feel like everything's so different and I almost kind of feel like I've like started over in a way, I don't know. So, which is really exciting, but yeah. So I thought today I would do a morning routine video and just kind of show you guys what I do in the morning and how I get ready and all that stuff. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. <laughs> Okay, what do you woke me up? So, this is where I sleep. This is like my bed here. I have Woody. I got Woody for my birthday and I love Woody so much. Since I got him, I was just like, you know, to like make my sleep better. I can just go to sleep at Woody and like, it's great. Normally, I don't think I brought it by accident, but I normally will go on like my phone and just kind of go on Twitter and social media and stuff like that for a while. But yeah, like I said, I kind of forgot my phone. I'm gonna start my morning and like wake up. It's probably kind of weird, but I, I like to sleep in a robe for some reason, so that's what I'm doing. And I have new pajamas I also got for my birthday. They're poo. I think they're really cute, so. All right, me and Woody are gonna go down. I'm gonna brush my teeth, you know, important stuff. So uh, normally I'll use like an electric toothbrush, but I have another toothbrush too. Since we had Woody earlier, I'm like, I should just use the Woody toothbrush. Colgate toothpaste. My teeth are brushed. By the way, just want to say, like, I have not done my hair yet or anything, obviously. So, so sorry that that's kind of a mess. I know I am gonna do it. Don't worry. So I do like this to sleep in. Like, I think it's really cute and stuff, but I think it's time for me to put real clothes on. So, oh, and also, of course, um, there's also a shower right here. So I also do that. So of course I also do that. There's also a bath because I really like to take baths a lot. They're just like really relaxing. Obviously, I'm not gonna do that in the video, but. Yeah, it's just like bathroom area where I do that stuff. All right guys, so I just got dressed. Obviously hair and makeup is still not done yet. So again, I'm sorry about that. Um, I wore this plaid shirt. I really like this shirt. I got it a while ago and I don't know. I think plaid is cool. I think it's pretty. So anyways, next thing I'm gonna do is makeup. So I'm just gonna set up my desk thing here. Mm, my hair is just very messy. All right guys, so the next thing I'm gonna be doing that I do every morning is I'm gonna be doing my makeup. As I do my makeup, guys, I'm very sorry. I know that my hair is like, it's an absolute mess right now because I haven't done it yet. And normally if I was doing a makeup video, I would probably like do my hair and then uh, do my makeup. But <laughs> since I'm doing like what I would normally do every day, like a morning routine, I'm gonna do this like super realistically and I'm gonna do my makeup first because that's what I would normally do. Yeah. <laughs> so this is probably gonna be just kind of like a quick little version of like how I typically would do my makeup. I like to do different things on my makeup so it's not the same, the exact same like every single day because I like to do different stuff. Oh no. Okay, so I was about to use like my Armani Maestro primer and do I have another one? This one's like out basically. This is just a bit low but I'm gonna make do with it. This is like so, so close to being out. Like there is like barely anything less to this. So I really had to try to make the most of what was left. I think I got it on. So that's the most important, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna do some foundation now. So I'm just gonna go and wet my um, beauty blender. Now I'm using the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is the one that I typically use every day. It's in 3.75 is the shade. And it's a good shade for me because uh, I'm very pale. I have very, very pale skin. So it can sometimes be a little bit hard for me to find the foundation that like matches well, but this one always matches pretty good, I think. I don't always use a foundation brush. A lot of the time I actually just use the beauty blender because it just like makes the foundation blend really nicely, I think. But I don't know, sometimes I use one and then use a beauty blender. I don't know why. <laughs> like I said guys, I am no professional, so <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you guys have any tips on like what you do or like what you think the best way is, then always feel free to tell me because like I'm always open to suggestions and hearing what you guys do. I sometimes use like a hair clip, but I was like, oh my gosh, if I use that, I'm gonna look even more 
like ridiculous for you guys than if I don't. So a lot of time when I'm just like doing my makeup by myself, I'll kind of like just like clip my bangs and I don't know, it makes it I guess a little bit easier than having to like have that happen. But I mean, I was, I don't know guys, I was just like, mm. then like for you guys, I'm gonna look even worse than I'm looking right now. Like, <laughs> so I was like, hey, you know what? Like, forget that idea. I'm just gonna try to move my bangs out of the way. Just so you guys know, if anyone's watching and you're like, Eugenia, like, why don't you just clip your bangs then? I don't know, I was just like, hmm. Like I said, guys, very quick version of my makeup since this is like a morning routine and I want it to like take forever for you guys to like see everything I'm doing. So I'm just gonna put on a little bit of powder. I'm honestly not sure if I do powder correctly, guys, because in videos I see, I don't know if you're supposed to really put powder all over your face, so sorry if I'm also doing that wrong. This is also Armani Pop powder, by the way. I do it because I guess, like, I think it, like, makes my foundation, like, set in and not be as wet, so it hopefully stays on longer. If I'm doing that wrong, too, feel free to tell me, because like I said, I'm always open to you guys' suggestions. Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm really no professional, like, whatsoever, so. Like, I try my best. Like, I find it really fun to do, so. It's really nice to hear that some of you guys do like how I do it. At least how I do my eye makeup. If you're saying this, you might be like, you're doing this so wrong, but <laughs> but it is really nice. So I just want to say thank you guys. I don't really normally do that much makeup on my face. So that's pretty much what I do in my face and that's about it. Um, <laughs> now I'm going to be going into eye makeup, which is probably like my favorite part of my makeup to do. My eye makeup, I don't always do the same colors because I like to do different stuff. So I always put on primer, which I'm doing right now. Urban Decay primer potion here. And like I said, guys, this is going to be a very, very, very quick version. I've probably told you guys that like a million times this video already, but just in case you wanted to hear again, I'm going to be using today the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker Palette, which is like my new favorite palette right now. It's so good. Yeah, ever since Shane gave this to me, I've been using it all the time. I really still cannot thank him enough for doing that. That was so kind and I appreciate it so much. I was so excited <laughs> and I'm still so excited. Of all the Jeffree Star palettes I have used, which I love all of them, this is like my fave so far. So I'm gonna do this makeup real quick. Just so you guys know, so you're not like confused as I'm doing this, um, I think I'm going to do the eyeshadows and then um, I'm also gonna do eyeliner after this because I always wear eyeliner. But I'm gonna just do like the other eye like off of camera since you guys saw me do this eye. And then I'll do eyeliner once on camera and I'll do once off and yeah, sorry if I'm not making sense, but I guess we'll see what I'm saying. Okay, I'm gonna do that part off of camera. I'll be right back. Also guys, I've actually been so excited to try these since like yesterday. Okay, probably not the longest time, but um, still. So I was at Ulta yesterday and I found these Smith & Colt glitter, glitter shots. And I love glittery things and like sparkly things. So they looked super pretty and like really like glittery and sparkly. I got that one and I also got one in blue. The blue one looks kind of more like silver than blue, but I thought it looked super pretty. There's a silver one too though. There was like gold one with like lightning bolts. There were a couple of different really cool looking ones. So I decided to buy them. I thought they looked really awesome. And why not try them today? Why not see how they actually look on? I'm just gonna do this with my finger. So sorry if that's weird. In the store, they actually seem to like apply really nicely with if you use your finger. So I don't normally do that, but I'm just gonna use that a little bit. I'm using it in the violet one right now. Yeah, so it is really cool looking. They're kind of like glitter, little like glitter particles. Okay, so uh, it made a little bit of my eyeshadow come up. I read that in one of the reviews with these when I looked into them online. But I feel like maybe they just used it really lightly because <laughs> I know it's not this eyeshadow's fault, guys. This like Jawbreaker palette is amazing. I've been wearing it like every day. It's been lasting like all day. <sighs> So I guess the reviews on these glitter shots, sadly, I read like one or two like that, that like it kind of was making their eye, their eyeshadow come off. I guess that can happen, but I do feel like they are really pretty. And I feel like if you put them on really lightly, you probably would be okay. I just probably like pressed too hard or it's probably my fault. They, they are pretty, don't get me wrong. And the other eye, I think I'm gonna lightly try the blue one. So I'm just gonna have like two different colors sparkles on my eyes. Um, 
Oh, I like it though. It is cool. If you don't put on too much, I really like this one. I feel like it's gonna kind of depend on like what color you're using with eyeshadows and also like what look you're going for. But yeah, see if you just kind of press it on, then I, I I don't think you'll have problems. I it was probably my fault pressing too hard. I'll just put it back on that the other eye too, so that way this one I feel like is a bit more like noticeable, whereas the other one kind of blends a bit a, a bit more. I think it is really cool looking though. I think you just don't want to press too hard on it, but if you're careful, it's good stuff. Next thing I'm gonna do is eyeliner. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to do bottom liner. <laughs> I love using colored eyeliners, especially in like the bottom like of my um, waterline. I really love them. Um, I'm gonna use two and just kind of like do half of one, half of the other, I think. And I'm gonna use this blue, Marc Jacobs. Whirlpool is the name. And this one I think is Missed Me. It's like a violet kind of purple color. Sorry, I totally forgot to do that. Normally I always remember guys, but sometimes when I'm filming, I just don't think. And I probably should, but that's okay. We're gonna apply this right now. I just think these look so pretty. Back to normal liner. Alright, so my eye makeup is almost done. I'm gonna curl my lashes because I always like to do that. I just always feel like my lashes look better curled than just having them straight. So um, I'm gonna use my Shea More Curler and then my Armani Mascara. Well, my eye makeup is basically done. Um, now I'm gonna just do a little bit of highlighter. I'm using Brain Freeze, um, <laughs> which, oh. Look what I just did, no! I'm so sad. Okay, that's okay. Um, oh, I feel so bad, why did I do that? I'm gonna try the Brain Freeze palette. This time, I'm gonna be much more careful. I know from like using this lately, I really love it. Before I screw anything else up, I'm gonna be using Cold Shoulder. A little bit. Really love this highlighter. It's very shiny and you don't even need to use much of it. It's just really great. Highlighter is done. So all I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna put some lipstick on because I always like to wear my lipstick. So I really have always loved the shade. It's Jeffree Star Skin Tight. It's like my go-to lipstick, liquid lipstick. <laughs> And I'm using this lip gloss because I've just also been obsessed with this lip gloss, Control Freak. So good. So make my lips a little bit more shiny. I better finish this before I do something else stupid. Like what am I gonna do next? I'm gonna like spray my daily brush cleaner as a like setting spray. <sighs> okay, let's just spray the real setting spray before I do something dumb. So, um, all right, my makeup is now done, so. That's how it turned out. All right guys, so I'm in the bathroom about to do my hair. <laughs> so where I'm showing you guys kind of like my whole morning routine, this isn't gonna be like a super descriptive version of how I do it, but I'm just gonna kind of do it for you and um, do it how I do it every day. If you guys would like me to do a more like detailed version or anything like that on what exactly I do to my hair and just like how I style it and all that stuff, then let me know and I could maybe do that if you guys would like it. And for now, I'm just gonna do it how I do it, I guess. Hopefully you guys can even like see it okay. I feel like that's like hard, but hopefully. I think so. <laughs> so I have my flat iron, I should turn this on. I usually set it to about kind of in the middle and I try not to burn myself because trust me, I've done that and it's really, really painful. I've done that in like 400 degrees with an old straightener and it was very bad. I got like a second degree burn and it was horrible, so be careful. But I usually set it to about like 340 around that. So um, yeah, I just have to wait for this to turn on. <laughs> in the meantime, I'm just gonna like comb my things out a bit.
So I'm also going to be using this Aspen Texture Molding Paste. I've been obsessed with this stuff. I kind of like to try to make my bangs look like anime. <laughs> I'm kind of obsessed with anime hair, so I feel like these just kind of help me try to stand on my bangs like that and they have a pretty good hold and I just really like it, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this in my hair. It takes a little bit to get it right sometimes, like sometimes this can be quite a bit of effort, but I feel like it's worth it. I really hope you guys can see what I'm doing by the way, I'm so sorry if this is like really hard to make out. I also try to like flatter them into place and hairspray them and it can be some work to try to get it right. If any of you guys also like doing like try, trying to kind of do anime hair, give me any tips. If you have like any tips on like how to make it work better or just like, I guess they make it easier to do because it, it can be hard. Free to always let me know, that would be super helpful. Cause like, I think it can be such a struggle sometimes. Then I like to tease my hair just using my teasing comb here. My bangs are probably not completely right. So I'm probably gonna work on this a bit too. But yeah, this is, like I said, not really the most like detailed version of how I do my hair. It's just kind of like a morning routine, like what I do kind of thing. I'm really not the best at like doing it and um, it can take me a while sometimes to like get it to work closer to like how I want it to work, but I try. <laughs> And I also like to use this Tresemme, Tresemme hairspray with the freeze hold. I just think when you really want a lot of hold, it's awesome. It really helps you like style your hair and stuff. I'm just gonna keep turning around in case you guys can't see. Then it's like, hey, at least you see a little bit that way. So, so you know what, I'm trying to make good videos. <laughs> okay. There we go. I think that's about the amount of volume that I like to try to get. Other side, the other side can be a little trickier for it sometimes for some reason, I don't know why. Great hairstyle. <laughs> also, I keep combing it like as I do it because this might be like a little bit much right now. Yeah, I kind of comb it down and just flatten it a little bit. Just a little bit more on the top. Great hairstyles. Can you imagine if I just like left it like that? There we go. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So now I'm gonna cover your eyes for this part. You do not want to get this stuff in your eyes. Just in case. But yeah, I try to like spray it here because I kind of like these pieces just kind of... That looks probably pretty bad the way you're looking at it in the camera now, but I kind of like to make them look kind of like spiky, pointy, whatever you want to call it. Just in case I'm going to do one more. Alright guys, and that is basically my hair. I tried... <laughs> It can be kind of hard to like get it right sometimes, but I try and that's how it turned out. Hopefully it turned out kind of okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm downstairs now and I'm going to grab something to eat. So here we go. So I'm gonna grab this yogurt with fruit and apple juice. And then I have these cute oystery cups right here. So time to open this. Okay, I'm gonna carefully pour. I'm not gonna like eat this on camera because I feel kind of awkward doing that. So sorry if you guys like wanted that, but I feel kind of weird doing that. But yep, got this, so. And then some days I like to bring my amazing dog, Buzz, for a walk. He's the best. Buzz is such a good dog. Alright guys, so that is basically my morning routine and what I do in the morning, what, how I get ready, all that stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching this and I hope you guys liked it. Alright, well, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for being so nice to me recently. It really means the world to me and I cannot thank you enough. So, alright, I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video very soon. Bye!